Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in this tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. Sophie says hello as well. So I thought today what I would do is just have a little chat about Christmas in a tiny house. I just wanted to chat a little bit about the holiday season. Um, I'm celebrating Christmas and uh, I get a lot of questions about Christmas in a tiny house and how I decorate, what I do about gifts, things like that. So I thought that, that was actually a great opportunity for a discussion. I had every intentions of sitting right here in this little corner, all snug for this discussion. But Sophie also <laughs> thought that was a good idea and she snagged the corner first and I just don't have the heart to move her because she looks so darn comfy. So first of all, as far as decorating for Christmas in the tiny house, I don't do a lot because I actually got rid of the majority of my Christmas decorations when I downsized, when I sold my townhouse to build the tiny house. I mostly uh, gave those to my kids. Keaton and Jamie got the majority of the decorations, especially the ornaments because what I had done for them since they were newborns was buy them each an ornament at Christmas time. And on the back of the ornament, I would write to whose it was and the year so every year when we would unpack them and decorate the christmas tree they could sort of keep chronological order of when they got the decorations and things like that and that was really fun so it made sense to pass those things along to them i used to also ooh, this was a long time ago i used to have a whole christmas village i used to collect them and they were often things that i would get from for christmas and i had a whole village that i would set up uh, but then it just got to be too much work and they ended up sitting in a box in the garage for years and I didn't pull them out. So I ended up donating those along with all of the miscellaneous stuff. I passed along my Christmas tree to Keaton. But other than that, um, uh, the ornaments went to the kids and I kept only a couple little things. The rest I donated. The thing is the tiny house is by definition tiny even though my house is a fair size for a tiny house it's still under 400 square feet if I include the loft and so there's not a lot of room I didn't really want a bunch of stuff so for the first um, Christmases I only had <laughs> this tiny little Christmas tree here which is cute and it's got lights on it and it was really small and so this year I ended up buying a four foot is that four feet no a three foot tree that um, I showed you in the clip and it's perfect because it's just a little bit more than this but it's still really tiny it fits into the little corner here it's festive but it doesn't take up a lot of room and it stores down really small and um, there's not a ton of other stuff that goes along with it so that's pretty much what I do I put some lights out on the tree outside I hang the kids stockings up and uh, I put this Christmas quilt on the couch every year, even in my old place. And uh, I just love this thing. It's got four Santas on it that are all different. And it's one of my favorite things. So just little things like that I put out um, just for this time of year because they don't take up a lot of room to store and they make it feel festive and the kids really like it. Now I do love to make a Christmas dinner. Um, I don't make a turkey obviously because I'm vegan uh, but I always make some sort of uh, vegan roast or something like that. Uh, one year I did meatballs and gravy and uh, sauteed mushrooms and mashed potatoes and stuffing and things, all of those sorts of things. Now, for me, <laughs> the, the best part of a Christmas dinner was never the turkey. I was never big on the turkey. It was the gravy and the stuffing and the mashed potatoes and uh, I guess the the sides were always the biggest thing, the fresh buns and, and things like that. So I still do all of the sides and uh, we have a great meal. I'll usually make either a apple pie or pumpkin pie for dessert. And it's not hard to have a nice sit down Christmas dinner in the tiny house. I have a folding uh, plastic table that is in the shed under the gooseneck. So I bring it in and I put it here. The coffee table becomes a stool on that side and we have a really nice dinner and then we clear the table and we play games and we end up laughing for hours because I gotta say, those kids 
are a lot of fun. Any minute now, Soph's going to get mad that I'm sitting here and she's going to leave. So just be prepared for that. So as far as gifts go, um, actually, I was talking to a friend of mine about uh, Christmas presents and she's talking about all the gifts that she's got to buy for her family members and her kids. And, um, and I was just sort of saying what I do and have done for years. So for, as far as gifts for me go, my kids and friends and family members have not been allowed to buy me presents for years, long before I lived in the tiny house. Um, I just sort of put a stop to it, oh gosh, about 10 years ago maybe, uh, because I didn't need anything. And that was the thing I was, um, I could see it was stressing out the people around me who had to buy me presents because they didn't know what to get me. And so I would end up getting things that I didn't really need, I didn't really want often, stuff for the house that I didn't need. Um, and, and it just seemed like such a waste of money. And it was not important to me. Now, here's the thing. Um, everybody has their love language. And for a, a, a large group of people, their love language is gift giving. And so I totally get that. That's not my love language. My love language, primarily my main love language is acts of service, which is why if you come over, I'm going to feed you. So, you know, I totally get that for some people that's really important. And there's a lot of expectations with families, uh, traditional expectations about gift giving and things like that. So for my birthday and for Mother's Day, all that I wanted from the kids is that they make me a meal. So they would get together and they would make me a meal for Mother's Day or uh, my birthday. And it was so cute because they're six years apart. So Keaton would do the <laughs> the heavy uh, lifting when it came to cooking. And uh, Jamie would be the server, <laughs> fill up my glass of wine while I was sitting in the living room and the kids were in the kitchen cooking. And it was just so awesome to see them work together, to see them plan a meal. It was never super complicated, but it was just so much fun and, and it made me so happy. And those memories are so valuable to me. And if they had bought me a gift, I probably, this to this date, not be able to remember what that gift was. But I remember every single time they did something like that for me. That's how valuable it was for me. So it was awesome. I'd get a meal out of it. I'd get drunk out of it because Jamie wouldn't know how to just pour a little bit in a glass of wine. So I'd have a full glass all the time. All I want is to spend time with them together, the three of us. And so they come over at Christmas and we have a meal and we play games and we laugh and we tell stories. Um, we watch Christmas movies. We always have to watch A Christmas Story and The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the cartoon version. Also, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Best Christmas Carol version out there. I'll fight you if you disagree. I mean, I do like the black and white one with Alistair Sim. I think that's his name. But as far as the kids go, we would watch The Muppet Christmas, the Muppet Christmas Carol too. And that was always so much fun. So, I mean, we can quote every line out of A Christmas Story. <laughs> and we do all year, you know, if something says fragile on it one of us right away will say fragile must be italian it's just what we do my friends don't buy me presents i don't buy them presents we spend time together we'll go for lunch or dinner or we'll go to see a play or something like that um, but we don't exchange gifts every once in a while there'll be a family member that insists on buying me a present and i totally get it because it's their love language and so that's that's absolutely fine i will obviously generously um, accept it and 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 sincerely say thank you um, but eventually that item will most likely that item will get donated down the road and i'm, I'm very honest about that so it, it's not a surprise um, because I just don't need anything. And now that I'm in the tiny house, I don't have room for a bunch of stuff. If somebody insists on buying me uh, something, I would prefer that they buy me something that was consumable, like a, you know, a gift card to the coffee shop or a bottle of wine or something like that, or uh, something that we could do together. Tickets to see a play or something like that. It ends up still being an experience or it's something that doesn't uh, sit on a shelf or in a cupboard, gets stuffed in a cupboard. Now, I do still buy gifts for my kids, 
and this is where my friend said you should make a you should put that in a video because I've I've had this philosophy for how I buy gifts for ever and and I didn't I don't I'm I heard this somewhere I'm sure I, I, I maybe I made it up I don't know but I, I can't even remember how I came up with it for the kids this is how I buy I buy them something to wear something to read something they want and something they need so when they were little uh, something to wear was usually pajamas Christmassy pajamas or something like that um, something to read was easy because we're all voracious readers so still you know it's it's a book a book series something like that uh, something that they want so some fun thing when they were little it would be a toy um, now that they're a little older it can be you know some electronics gadget or um, a gift card to steam so that they can download an, an, an the latest version of their PC games or something like that and then something they need a gift card to the grocery store a gas card something for their vehicles something like that and that has worked out perfectly because it's it's super easy and uh, they get things that they need but also some things that they want as they've gotten older uh, gift cards come into play more often but I still like to have a book or you know definitely some pajamas and warm, warm socks hope they're not watching not that they, not that they don't already know because that's how it always goes but it's fun and uh, it they have something to open I, I enjoy watching them do that but it's not about the presents it's been years and years since they've been you know uh, all about the presents you know little kids often are but as they gotten older um, it's been more about the food the treats the uh, games that we play we play crib and you know just trivia games things like that and we laugh and we have such a good time um, and for me that is what Christmas is about I know what I wanted to say I almost forgot so for this Wednesday's video what I'm going to do is upload three videos that are actually from the second channel but they're videos that I think would be really great for you guys to have if you are looking to make some plant-based um, sides and desserts for your holiday meals there are the instant pot mashed potatoes the biscuits and gravy and the pumpkin pie videos um, the biscuits and gravy that gravy is amazing like you can skip the biscuit recipe I'm I know it's not the best out there but the gravy is super easy it's really delicious the instant pot mashed potatoes are so easy to make and if you have an instant pot and you don't know what to make in it make these and then the pumpkin pie is about just about the simplest quickest easiest uh, pie recipe ever it uses a graham cracker crust um, and it is really easy to make so for that last minute sort of oh gosh I forgot to make a dessert and you know I have family coming over and we need something for dessert that's a good one as well so this Wednesday that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna re-upload those three videos but onto this main channel so that you have them if you need them um, and I think that you'll really like them so whether you celebrate Christmas as a religious holiday or it's a Santa holiday Santa Christmas tree type holiday or uh, perhaps you don't celebrate Christmas at all you uh, celebrate Hanukkah or a different celebration that is the winter solstice type celebration or this time of year uh, I just want to say happy holidays to you and that I love you guys and that I hope that even in this crazy time that you are able to spend some time with somebody you love uh, virtually or hopefully in person and if that somebody you love is just your little furry companion that's pretty important too because these little guys they keep us sane and grounded and they always know when we need a little bit of extra love I love you guys I hope you're doing well and um, I'm not sure if I'll talk to you before Christmas or not, but I'll definitely see you next Sunday.